But I watch a lot of TV during the day, because I do comedy at night, and uh, I've noticed that there's only a few kinds of people that watch TV during the day. You can tell this by the commercials, because the commercials that air during the day are specifically catered to people they think are watching TV at that time. So I've come to the conclusion that the only people that ever watch TV during the day are people that have no money, people that have no education, people that have no job, and people that have an abundance of gold jewelry. <laughs> Thank God you can get rid of this treasure chest. <laughs> Out of pirates watching daytime TV. <laughs> but why would I have no job with money? I have a I have a friend of mine who just had a kid recently, and he's he's and it's cool, you know, he's very proud of it. But the thing is, he's always showing me pictures. And the first couple times it was fine, but now it's it's like every day I see him, he's like, here's 50 more pictures of my kid, and it's really irritating. He's always in my face about it, too. He's like, look at my kid. Isn't he cute? Isn't he cute? Isn't he cute? Isn't he cute? Eventually, I got sick of it. I was like, hell yeah, he's cute. If I was a priest, I'd fuck him. <laughs> he's not showing you the pictures. It's the point. That was the point. <laughs> it's any consolation, I'm going to burn in hell. But whatever. It's fine. Who cares? What could it be in hell that's worse than what my life is like now? I can't imagine anything at all. I'm going to get down there, they're going to be like, all right, your job is going to be that you have no job, no money, no woman. Everywhere you go, people make fun of you and live with your parents for the rest of your life. How's that sound? Like fucking yesterday. It's not <laughs> Try again. <laughs> I, um, I'm not very good at giving people advice, which you guys probably figured out in the two minutes I've been out here. But I had this friend who uh, was dating this guy for a couple years, about two years, and she found out that he was cheating on her. And she was really upset about this. So I, she told me about it, and she wanted me to say something that gets to make her feel better. So I was like, well, are you going to break up with him, or are you going to stay with him? She said, well, I might consider forgiving him, but I want to do something to him to make him feel as bad as he made me feel. So I was like, okay, um, have you tried killing yourself? That would probably... <laughs> I know that was wrong. Okay, I understand that. She got very mad at me. She's like, that's ridiculous. I'm trying to ask you for advice, and this is the crap you give me. I'm like, all right, fine. You really want to make me feel bad? Fuck me. That'll teach him a lesson. All right? So she looks at me, she's like, you know what? I think I'm gonna kill myself. I think you're right. <laughs> See, I had a plan for that the whole time. 